Alrighty guys, today's the day. We are picking up another car. And yes, another car for people that actually know me. You may be wondering, why another car? We don't like, you know, we have enough cars in here. Yes, all right, another car. Yes, I know it's another car, but there is a purpose to this one. And it was a good deal, okay? It was a good deal. And I have been looking for this car for quite a while and this one popped up and it was the right timing. I'm pretty pumped and yeah, I'm excited to go get it. I'll explain kind of why I got it and the reasoning behind it like once we go get it and I'll show you what the car is. But yeah, some of you that know me might know what it is already, but I don't think I've really, I've kept this one quiet for a little bit. So yeah, I'm pretty pumped. Alrighty guys, here it is. If you don't know what this is, this is a Ford Falcon BA XR6. This car has been sitting for quite a while and it's a little rough in a few places, which I'll talk about later. But our first challenge was to replace the fuel pump as it was dead. So I went to the wreckers, pulled out a fuel pump, and then I put it in, and then I tried to start it for the first time. Yeah. Woohoo! She's running! How's she going? There's no lights. Yes! Alrighty, so we managed to get it running, which was a huge success because it made it so much easier loading onto the trailer. If we couldn't get it running, it would have been so much harder to try to drag it out of there and try to winch on the trailer. So that was awesome. So we got it all loaded on the trailer, all strapped, ready to go. And I'm pretty excited. I've been looking at these cars for a while in Marketplace and... I've gone and looked at a few and they just weren't quite right and I decided to go look at this one and it just felt right. The previous owners were really cool people and they told us everything about the car and it's not perfect but it is definitely a really good start. There is, you know, not a whole lot wrong with this car. There's a couple, you know, imperfections in the body but the interior is pretty good. It's all complete. We also got a rear wing uh, included which was pretty cool. I might put it on, I might not, I'm not sure at the moment, but still pretty cool. And yeah, it's pretty clean, but the coolest thing about this car that it's actually manual as well. So it's not as easy finding a manual XR6 Falcon as it is to find a normal automatic XR6 Falcon, but we still managed to find this one, which was really, really good. And it didn't have too many kilometers either. It was only about 200,000. So the only real downside is probably this area here. I think it just got clipped coming out of a driveway, I believe. But it's actually not as bad as it looks, so we'll be able to fix that up. So we bought it home, we got off the trailer, and we parked it up in our workshop. So I was pretty keen to get started on this project, so I basically started straight away getting to work on this car. And I put the car on the hoist, and I quickly found where the exhaust seat was coming from. Basically the pipe from the header to the cat was completely snapped off. So I pulled that section off. I uh, cleaned it up with a pressure washer to get it all nice and clean. So then when I went over to weld it, I didn't have any crap or dirt or anything like that on it. 
So then after that, I grinded the edges off so I could try and get a nice clean weld. Then I welded it up. It's not the best welds ever, but it will do. It's definitely strong enough and it doesn't have any leaks, which is good. Then I went to Super Cheap and I bought a bunch of coolant oils and filters and everything. And then I also bought some paint to paint the exhaust. So that came up pretty good. Then I drained all the oils and all the coolant out of the car. And then I put uh, the exhaust back in after it dried, which looks pretty good actually. It doesn't look too bad at all. So once the exhaust and all the fluids were back in, it was time to start it up and see what it sounds like. Alrighty, here she is. Doesn't she look amazing? So I've cleaned her up. She was quite dirty. She's been sitting for quite a while. So I went ahead and cleaned her up. It took her quite a while to clean it uh, inside and out, but she's all cleaned up. She's uh, looking pretty good right now. Like she's actually not too bad. Like, you know, the paint needs a little bit of polishing that you can kind of see in the sunlight. There's some swells and stuff in the paint. So she needs a bit of polishing and, um, you know, obviously there is this area that needs to be fixed up. So it doesn't look actually too bad. In the photos, it looked worse than it was, but it's actually just, it hasn't really pushed in too much. It's pushed in a little bit. So I want to get it pulled out and, you know, properly filled. And then I'll probably be painting this myself. Um, the boot also, they had a bit of an accident and damaged the boot, so it's just got this boot on it for now. But I've already sourced myself a XR6 boot and wing, so that's good. And then interior-wise, it's uh, pretty good. It's pretty much complete for the most part. It's got these little red bits that they painted I'm not a huge, huge fan of them. I'll probably swap them out for black, but you know what? It actually doesn't look that bad at all. It could be worse. It could be worse. So anyway, so interior looks, you know, pretty nice. It came up actually quite nice with a fair bit of scrubbing. I mean, it's not perfect. I probably will go over it a bit more. And then, you know, sort of same thing in the back. The fuel pump I replaced was just under there. So I had to take the rear seat out. But overall, it looks pretty good. It's, uh, not bad at all. I'll show you under the engine bay. Come around and <sighs> we'll pop it open. But yeah, so this car, uh, if you can see there, it's got two hundred, just over 200,000 kilometers. So as some people would say, it's just run in. So not bad at all. The engine doesn't smoke or anything, which is pretty good. Uh, the the uh, gas struts aren't the greatest on the hood. Let's see if they hold this time. Hey, they hold, look at that. How good, fixes itself. So the engine bay, I've given this a clean as well. You know, the paint's a little bit rough in spots, but I mean, I can't complain. This was a very good deal, a lot cheaper than normally what these are. And especially because this one, well, it's manual if you didn't see already. So that's pretty cool that it's a manual. And yeah, so it looks pretty clean. Um, I've given it sort of a, a quick service, which has changed all the fluids. Um, and yeah, I've just given it a clean. Yeah, even the, the hood lining's relatively intact. It's a little bit frayed on the edges, so I might do something about that. But it looks pretty good, honestly. Um, the gearbox, unfortunately the gearbox does, it does crunch second gear. I think the synchros are bad in it, but I have a plan for that anyway. That's not really a big drama at all. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with my purchase. I never thought I would um, 
be owning a Falcon, if I've been honest. Like, if you ask me, you know, like, when I was younger, I was so against getting these cars, like Commodores and Falcons, just because I think of their reputation, I think, more than anything. But the more I got older and realised that they're actually pretty good cars and the good bang for buck, I was like, well, all right. I think I'll just get one anyway. You know, obviously, I'd love something like a Skyline or stuff like that but they're just too expensive and sylvia's as well like they're just they're out of this world at the moment so anyway we have a falcon so you may be wondering what's the plan with this car i think the plan will be to make it into sort of like a nice street slash drift slash track car i'd like to be able to still drive on the road with it still being legal and i'd like to also be able to drift it as well i think that would be i've never really tried drifting at all besides the occasional accidental skid you do on track but other than that i've really not really tried to drift i've done a couple stuff on a skid pan but nothing massively so i think uh this car would be a good car to drift and also a track car I'd also my dad has a alfa romeo gdv6 and it's a really cool car but unfortunately they're getting they're getting i suppose parts are getting really hard to find and and it's expensive and it's just a really nice car and i don't want to trash that so we're kind of keeping it as our like cruiser it's a really good car for cruising even though it is a really good track car as well we're going to just yeah i think we're going to retire it from track days besides maybe special ones or alpha related stuff but i think the falcon will sort of replace its role in the track car because i mean it's a falcon you know not that i don't care about it at all but you know if stuff breaks or if stuff happens to it you know there's plenty of spares you can find parts it's cheap so that's kind of like my idea around it i do want to turbo it i really want to turbo it i really love turbo cars especially straight six turbo cars i think they sound so cool they have a nice exhaust note and they also, you know, hearing the turbo flutter, you know, because, I mean, who's going to run blow off valves? Like, really? No. A really nice exhaust note. Uh, I don't think you can beat that. So, and Barra's, you know, they sound all right. You know, they're not like a 1J or 2J, but they still sound pretty good. So, I think for the gearbox as well, I think I'll probably replace it with the T56, the six speed gearbox. So, a lot stronger as well than the T5s. They tend to break. I think the other thing as well I'll do is upgrade the diff to a territory diff. The stock ratio is, I believe, in the Falcon, it's uh, 3.45. And the territories in the two-wheel drive, it's a 3.7. And then the all-wheel drive is a 4.1. So I don't know which one to go with yet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've got to work it out. But I'll be upgrading to, yeah, one of those diffs. Apparently they're a little bit stronger, but they're mainly for the ratios. So, so I think the first mods, well, the first things that I'll do is first fix, I mean, fix up the paint and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, get the boots sorted out. The roof is a bit faded. Uh, definitely fix up this little bit here. And uh, what else? I think this door, yeah, that door is pretty mint. The hood's good. The guard's good. The front bumper's got a few nicks and stuff, but I don't think I'll really care about that. That guard is pretty good. The door just, yeah, here it's a bit faded, so I'll see what I can do with that. Same as this one, and same as the quarterback here. It's just a little bit faded. Yeah, it's just a little bit faded at the top. It's got a little bit of sun damage, but yeah, we'll definitely be painting the boot, the roof, fixing something there. And yeah, and then the quarter panel, and I guess a little bit of the door. Well, I'll probably have to respray the whole door to fix up this bit here too. So, so then after once I fix up kind of the cosmetics of it, and you know fix up a couple of interior bits, uh, I want to get some wheels and tires, obviously, get some uh, suspension, some new springs, new shocks. Then yeah, upgrade the diff. See how long that T5 gearbox lasts. Oh, I'll probably do like sway bars as well, sway bars, replace any bushes that 
are going bad or pretty dead. It drives pretty well at the moment, so I don't think there's anything majorly wrong, but yeah, we'll go over, have a check over the whole car and see what we need to replace and fix. And, and then, yeah, we'll upgrade, yeah, a couple of suspension bits, mainly shocks, coils, sway bars, then wheels, tires. We'll try and fit some pretty big wheels and some pretty meaty tires for the track. Obviously, yeah, seat, probably get a, a racing seat, a racing steering wheel, even though we'll kind of get rid of cruise control, but hopefully I can find a way to get cruise control working because it's normally on the steering wheel, the stock steering wheel, but I wonder if you could convert to like the stork design. I don't know. It'd be interesting to try anyway. But yeah, so I think I'd be like sort of stage one, just get the suspension, wheels, tires, all that sort of stuff done. It's already got exhaust on it and sounds pretty good. So I think, yeah, that'll be the first sort of stage after we get all the cosmetics done. So that's kind of what you can expect in the future. After that, I don't know what order of stuff I'll be doing, but there will definitely be a lot more upgrades to come. But anyway, I think that will wrap it up. So yeah, so I hope you guys are excited for what's to come with this car. I know I am. I'm really excited to take this to the track for the first time. And yeah, so stay tuned. There'll be more to come. I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you for watching.